Hello everyone, my name is Revenjan Palacio and I am here to demo my uh, database backup and restore using PHP. So let's start. So now let's uh, test our program. So here our interface for database backup and restore. So I have a table here which uh, displays all the data in our table in the database Palacio IT16. So our table name data and stores this data also so we have id name and action for delete so now first we back up our uh, database so click backup now so it will say database backup successfully so if we look in our uh, directory or path so we save it in uh, in our file and in a folder in folder backup so here is our um, file for backup so here it says here it gets the structure for table which is the data table so if that exists so the table will drop so it will create new data for the restoration or data table registration and no other so here are the uh, values in our data table so here will this will be inserted if we restore our database so let's go back in now so since we back up our database so we can delete now some uh, items here so we can delete here Okay, so we have only two remaining. So this, uh, this is uh, these are the only items left in our database, in our table data. So if we restore it, uh, we choose a file. This is our file that has been uh, backed up lately. So let's open it and restore. So to say successfully. So now it, it goes back to uh, normal for the one that we back up. So our code, uh, we have index and the execute PHP. So in our index PHP, so we have session start and we, have, we get our uh, connection from, uh, from database. So here we query our data. Select all from data to display it in our table. Share our interface. This is our table. To display the ID in the name and also the action. Which is the button delete. So here in our execute, uh, we also have connection for database. So action for button, getting the value of button. So if the action value or button value is equal to BUP or backup so uh, we'll have the database name uh, we declare for a uh, string and file path and file name so here is our command line our command so here as you see uh, it will get the MySQL dump uh, from the uh, database so here in dump it will get the uh, creation of the or of our database so from routines the routines is from the database also each localhost so this is our uh, localhost use our root or username so here we have the database name which is the palacio it16 so uh, the data or the database uh, will be stored uh, in our backup file path here backup file path it will go here and will be stored in our backup file name so here we create our file name uh, the database name the string will be concatenated so 
The purpose of this dot is for concatenation of strings. So here we execute cmd. So if this executed, so the session will start. So that the notify a session or the alert that we uh, like you see earlier. And we'll go to uh, header for index PHP. So now for the action restore, mm -hmm. it will uh, set for the back uh, path. So in my case, my path is in our HT docs uh, backup restore and the backup uh, uh, folder. So now we concatenate our uh, file file name, which uh, we get from here uh, input file so we concatenate its value so our database name okay, so here to restore our file or our database here, here is our command uh, see for uh, the path of our uh, databases and our username root and our database name which is file 16 to get from path here so if uh, it will ex execute we will call the execute function so if it is true it will uh, restore our database so for the remove So delete for the remove button so uh, that's all i hope that you uh, get my idea of how did i create my uh, database backup and restore in php so thank you